Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwa and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my weekly Sunday vlog for March 5th, 2017. In this video, I'm gonna tell you guys what's been going on me for the past week, what I plan to do for the upcoming week, concerning my life in YouTube and stuff like that. I'm gonna tell you guys what movies I've been watching, what events I've been attending, what new food I've been trying out, and we'll just go from there, all right? Uh, I will also do a Q&A in this video. I, I, uh, last week's vlog, I asked you guys to ask me some questions. I actually picked out like five most asked questions, my favorite questions from then. I'll, I'll just answer them in this video. That's kind of part of my 50,000 subscribers extravaganza or whatever you want to call it, okay? Yes, it's been brought to my attention. I have crossed a, a huge milestone, 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. Now you're probably asking me, like, well, David, what's your secret and stuff like that? I'll be honest with you, I, I don't know how to answer that question. Like, you gotta ask yourself, what made my channel, what made my videos so appealing to you? You know, what made you subscribe? You know, a lot of people who are watching this video right now are probably subscribers. And you're probably like, oh, David, I want 50,000 subscribers too. What's your secret? I don't know what it is, you know? I just made some videos. I share with you some of my thoughts on movies and video games and stuff like that. And people keep, keep subscribing, you know? So... Uh, Ask yourself, what made this channel appealing? What made my videos so interesting to you? And that's probably the same question for, uh, same answer for everyone else, okay? Um, I don't know what it is. Like maybe it's because I, I share with you my thoughts on movies and video games and comic books that uh, recently came out. Maybe it's the unboxing videos, unboxing new things that just been newly re released in stores. Maybe it's because I do live streams and video games live streams where I, where I actually talk to you guys, answer questions, and interact with, with people who view and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I don't know what it is. So you guys ask yourself, uh, why did you subscribe to my YouTube channel? And chances are that whatever your answer is applies to like everyone else also, you know? Um, so this past week, uh, I did went to, um, that Mardi Gras event that I mentioned to you guys last time. You can see pictures of it on my Instagram and Twitter and such like that. Uh, they had good food and I got to see a lot of friends I haven't seen in a while. Okay. A lot of people who go to the church, you know, uh, the church has multiple, you know, services, multiple masses throughout the day, you know, so I, I don't really run into the same people, you know? So at this Mardi Gras event, I got to see a lot of friends that, that I, I met at the, um, at the Halloween party last year and stuff like that, you know, many other church events, I, I've seen them all throughout, so this is a great way for me to I, I see a bunch of people from, from that time, you know. Um, they had, like, gumbo, they had um, uh, ribs, barbecue ribs, they had uh, rice and uh, very yummy cookies and stuff like that. Yes, a lot of good food there, okay? So I really enjoyed my time there. It was a good, great Mardi Gras, Gras event. Then, of course, now it's Ash Wednesday and Lent, and it was like all about sacrifice. You have to fast and stuff like that. So it's going to be an interesting next couple months, you know, until Easter time when we finally start celebrating and, and all that stuff again. But this is like a kind of spiritual renewal or whatever, right? So, um... <clears throat> This past week, I did watch a lot of WWE again, once again, you know. I've been watching some of that Undertaker DVD that I got last week. I haven't even finished it yet, so I'm not going to talk about it. But I did finish these. I finished watching the Royal Rumble Complete Anthology, Volumes 2 and 3, okay? And I really enjoyed it. Uh, these got me interested in a couple new people, right? And I bought a DVD related to them. I just bought this like 45 minutes ago. I, I just got home like, uh, like an hour ago and... Uh, and, uh, and uh, yeah, now I've got this new DVD set. Someone asked, actually uh, recommended it to me. It's The Legacy of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, Texas Rattlesnake, right? So in here, three discs, nine freaking hours of entertainment. So I'm looking forward to watching this. All his rivalries and all the, the craziness throughout the years, him drinking in front of everyone in the ring and stuff like that. So here, I haven't, I haven't even taken a look at all this stuff. This one has a, uh, wow, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Here, <laughs> if, if you can read that, there's what's on disc one and two, all right? And there's disc three. I don't know if you can re even read that. But uh, yeah, after watching uh, uh, the, this, this past week of uh, all these Royal Rumble matches, you know, he, he almost won like three in a row. So uh, there was one where he went to the hospital and then uh, Vince McMahon was all against him. He's, it was, he put a bounty on his head. Whoever whoever throws him over the edge, you know, uh, throws him over the top rope and have both feet touch the floor will we'll get win $100,000 and stuff like that. Everyone's after him and stuff like that. You know, the, he ran out, out of the, the arena. He ran into the, like, the bathroom and everyone's like beating him up in the, 
in, in, in bathroom and stuff like that. He had to be in an ambulance, and he, he actually got into the ambulance and drove himself back. And I don't know what's going on, man. Like he was, it was crazy. But um, he got me really interested, so I started looking at, well, you know, what other matches has he been in uh, th through the years? You know, looks like this came out in 2008. Look at that, 2008 pay per views coming soon. So, and uh, we got here, enter for a chance to win. The 2008 DVD collection. I guess it's a little late for that. I, I can probably go to the store and, and get it much cheaper. So, yeah, nine hours is $6.99. All right. I think I would say, when it comes to like plot and stuff like that, it's, it's really, they, they, they do it well, you know? They make it interesting. Um, so, that, that's all I've been watching this whole past week was just the, these Royal Rumble DVDs. I watched a few Undertaker stuff and. And yeah, it's just nothing but pro wrestling ever since the year began, right? So it's not, like, 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 like that's like my main thing um, was watching pro wrestling, WWE, and I got those WCW, and I just I just recently bought on uh, on eBay. I'm, I'm gonna wait till they they arrive. The next time I'm in Wichita, I'll, I'll pick it up. I bought Royal Rumble 2016 and uh, Goldberg. I, there was like a, a, a Goldberg Ultimate DVD set, you know? I, I went ahead and bought that, so it's like on its way to my house back in Wichita, my, my parents' place. So the next time I go home, which is probably like spring break, I'll go home and pick, pick it up, you know? But I watched that Brock Lesnar DVD, and I saw the Royal Rumble from this past year, and I'm like, man, I, I, I wanna watch more of this Goldberg guy, you know? Like this spear and all that stuff, so. Uh, anyway, uh, upcoming videos for the week. Uh, I will upload, well, it's, it's, it's already on, online, actually. Um, Honey Nut Cheerios. I recorded this video, like, three, four years back. <laughs> so, it's, it's just me opening up a box of Honey Nut Cheerios and getting a little toy inside. It's like, um, Despicable Me 2, like... Di My phone ran out of storage space, so I had to like delete a few things. I, I really wish now that I recorded my this video with my regular camcorder. Uh, this is the HDR CX150 Sony Handycam HDR CX150. This is the usual camcorder I use to record my videos. Um, for some reason, the HD it stopped working. Like I can't record as, uh, in, in my videos in HD anymore, uh, in 1080 and 720 and stuff like that. I can only record in 480p. I don't understand what happened, but it happened like uh, it started like four four months ago. Um, and then you may notice that so ever since then, um, a lot of my videos have been like 360 and 480p instead of the usual 720 or, or, or 1080, right? Um, anyway. Um, I was talking about upcoming videos for the upcoming week, right? So yeah, there's a Honey Nut Cheerios unboxing video. I, I have a box of Honey Nut Cheerios, and basically all I do is just open the box and find a Despicable Me 2 toy inside. There's like a Minion toy inside. So uh, I just reveal what toy that is. I recorded this video years ago. I never uploaded it because I thought it was kind of silly, but uh, I think now if I upload it, people will actually watch it and really enjoy it, you know? The other video I have is the Velvet Assassin achievement hunting video, right? Um, Velvet Assassin is a game I played on the Xbox 360, I believe, like last year, and I recorded it with this camera. I just pointed this camera towards the TV, and every time, I, every time the trophy would pop up, I saved that segment, right? So it's just a montage of all the times the trophy would pop up, uh, achievement would pop up on the screen. And I think at the end, I did give you guys a mini review. So it's just a gameplay video of me playing Velvet Assassin. I really enjoyed that game, by the way. Um, so, okay, let's go ahead and answer some of these um, Q&A questions, okay? There's actually four of them. Two of them are actually, like, multiple people ask the same questions. I'm going to answer them all at once. And two questions that I just really like and I, I really want to answer, okay? So you guys can keep asking me questions, and next week I'll pick out my favorites, and eventually I'll, I'll answer your question, okay? I think it's a little more interesting than having a whole list of people who want shout-outs. So uh, let's see how, how this works out, okay? Paul Vachon... Ali Malik, Ahmed Amir, and Funny Gamer all ask the same question. And by the way, if I uh, mispronounce your name, I, I apologize ahead of time, okay? They asked me about the Nintendo Switch. That's right, the Nintendo Switch recently came out this past week. A lot of people, uh, I, I, I watch a bunch of unboxing videos. People are starting gameplays of, of Zelda and stuff like that. Uh, I've been really interested ever since, but uh, honestly, I, I'm not gonna buy the game uh, the, the console until there's games I like remember the ps4 I didn't buy the ps4 till like a year and a half later when after it came out You know because I was waiting for mo more games to come out for it and then um, 
eventually it came out with like uh, bundles you know you know what i mean so I'm, I'm hoping that in the future there will be a nintendo switch bundle with some new game you know red dead redemption 2 uh, with extra levels only on nintendo switch uh, that, that's a great way for me to buy it, okay? That, that's a great opportunity. Um, the new Super Smash Brothers or whatever comes out on Nintendo Switch only, okay? That, 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 that's a reason. Right now, it's like, I don't play Legend of Zelda, first of all, so it, 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 there's like no reason for me to get, get the system right now, okay? But uh, I am interested, you know, I got a Wii, I, I play GameCube games, I got a Nintendo 3DS and a Nintendo 2DS, you know? I'm interested in uh, these Nintendo consoles, and Nintendo Switch does have a lot of, um, uh, there's a lot of features about it that I really like. I like how, the, you know, it, it, you pull off the, the Joy-Cons on the side and, you know, uh, um, it's portable, but it also can be kind of like a home console also, you know? I, I like certain features about it, you know? Uh, but I'm not going to get it right, right away because what am I going to play, you know, when, when I finally get it, you know? Uh, I'm not interested in Legend of Zelda, which is like the, the that's like the big game right now. The my phone ran out of space completely now. I, I deleted like five things on here and a couple apps and apparently that, that wasn't enough. <laughs> apparently they, they t uh, this uh, iPhone 6 takes huge long videos, you know, huge, huge files when it comes to videos. So now I'm recording with the camcorder I just held up a few minutes ago. So this is a continuation. I was talking about the Nintendo Switch, right? So. Like, what, what, what was I saying? I was like shocked. I, I don't know how, how long I talked before the, the camera cut out. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I needed more and more games on Nintendo Switch before I actually buy it, okay? I'm not interested in buying Nintendo Switch right now because there's not enough games I, I, I want to play that I, I can't play on already on some other system, you know? They keep saying that, oh, they're going to release the NBA 2K games, but it's going to be like the Xbox 360 versions and stuff like that. I was like, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll stick with the PS4 quality type games, you know? They talked about, oh, they're going to have Skyrim and such, but I, I can already play those games on the system I, I already have. I have it for PS3. I, I, I I can get it on PS4 and maybe Xbox 360 also, you know? So yeah, right now there's not a lot of incentive for me to get a Nintendo Switch, right? But it does look like a cool system. I don't have very much, uh, I love the, the marketing. Like that, that Super Bowl video uh, with the dude, he's like sleeping and he's like making eggs and, and then he, he plays, I, I freaking love the song. I, I downloaded the, the Imagine Dragon uh, song uh, right after I saw that, that video, it was, it was interesting. Ugh, let me close the, the blinds here. People are looking in and saying, what, what's this dude talking to? <laughs> so, um, next question is from Devo Nevo and Taylor Middleton. They both asked me the same question, and that is, who is my favorite Spider-Man actor, right? Uh, personally, it's kind of... Here's what I have to say. I like Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. Like, actual Spider-Man in costume. I like, you know, he's very witty and... You know, he does the jokes and he's very sarcastic and stuff like that. I, I like Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. Um, but I like Tobey Maguire better at, as Peter Parker. And I don't know if anyone would agree with me, but I thought, I thought he was a, a great Peter Parker. But um, he, he was, yeah, I don't know what it is, but, but I like Andrew Garfield more as, as Spider-Man and Tobey Maguire as Peter Parker. Tom Holland, I think, is like, I don't know, I haven't seen a new movie yet, so I, 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 don't, I don't have a lot to, uh, to go on, you know? So, I'll wait till I see a full movie with him in it, um, you know, all about him, Spider-Man Homecoming, and then, and then I'll give you my verdict with, about Tom Holland. But right now, between Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, that, that's what I have to say. I thought Andrew Garfield was a great Spider-Man, but I think he was like, he's, um... He's too cool, I guess, to be Peter Parker. But I thought Tobey Maguire was was good as Peter Parker, but but Spider-Man, eh, it's, it's 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 good, it's all right. And out of all the Spider-Man movies, I like Spider-Man Two, the the one with uh, Doctor Octopus. That one's my favorite movie, man. Uh, I I remember the the train sequence and the the tear that rolled out my eyes when I watched that 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 movie. Okay. And uh, I thought it had a great ending, and it was uh, unique, and you know. Like, like, what other version of, of um, Dr. Octopus has, like, the arms, is like, they have their own minds, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, uh, the next question I have here is from Spurs19. He's a longtime subscriber. Do you take your PS3 to the university so you can sync your trophies over the internet? <laughs> That's what I probably would have done, but uh, my phone has enough data. To, to sync trophies? It doesn't take that much. I would have to say it takes, like, like... 20 megabytes or something like that, you know, it's not big. Now, the first time I have to update my console and and, um, 
and uh, sync it for the very first time. Man, that, that took a while. I don't know, uh, probably like 200 megabytes all, all together, but it wasn't, you know, I have to, like 12 gigs to deal with for the entire month, and I, I, I can deal with some of it just for, you know, just to sync trophies for a little bit. Every time I have to sync trophies, I, I just turn on my phone for a little bit, uh, use it as a personal hotspot, and then um, it, it syncs in like two minutes, you know? So, so yeah. Five Nights at Freddy vs. Jaws videos ask me, why is Grim Toy Show under your subscribers? Uh, so, recently this past year, you know, I started watching all these WWE DVDs and someone asked me, Hey David, you gotta subscribe to Grim Toy Show. He loves WWE, he collects toys and action figures, and he goes to the, to the events and stuff like that, so you gotta subscribe to him. And I subscribe, and every single day, ever since I subscribe, it's like, Wife does this to me, and... And you know, whatever, you know, it's like a whole bunch of crazy videos, and I watch them, and I'll be honest with you, they're quite entertaining. <laughs> so Grim Toy Show, if you, if you want to subscribe to him, go ahead. Uh, he, he's got my approval. I, I think he's 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 funny, man. He's hilarious sometimes. Like there's, like he's one video like, oh, he's trying to beat up this uh, a page thing. You know, like, like his wife is so uh, is so jealous or whatever, right? So he's trying to freak her out with Paige and 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 he's like she's like destroys all his toys and stuff like that. It's pretty funny stuff. So <laughs> I kind of enjoy it. Right right now, like some of my favorite YouTubers, okay, who I, I probably didn't mention before, is probably like uh, Grim Toy Show, um, Hodge Twins. Or, or Twin Muscle, or, or like, uh, Ask the Hodge Twins, or something like that, you know? Um, the Hodge Twins, it's like these two dudes, you know, and they answer questions, and it's like, everything's like, like, this and this action, and going deep inside, and no sweet walls, and stuff like that. It's like, what? And I, I really enjoy the little commentaries on this life, and they're like a couple comedians, you know? Uh, they're, they're really funny, and they're doing like a, a tour right now. Every single video you watch is like, uh, uh, they're, they're, they're promoting some of their, their uh, comedy shows and stuff like that. So I subscribed to them probably like the middle of last year, you know? And I started watching their videos. And uh, I think it's funny. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, those are a couple of people off the top of my head. You know what? That's, uh, that's the, all I have to say. Um, I think there's a KU game, yeah! Um, I, I don't know if you're watching, uh, when you're watching this, it, it should be up on Sunday, but I, 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 I'm actually recording this, like, um, uh, Saturday night, and there's a KU game going on right now. Let me, let me just check the score, what's going on. Usually they have a watch party if it's not a home game. Let's see, Google KU basketball score. They're winning. It's like eight minutes left in the game. I might as well just, yeah, not worth going. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, that, that is it for my Sunday vlog. Thank you for watching, everyone. Rate, comment, favorite, subscribe. And, and thanks for everyone that, that, that uh, congratulated me on 50,000 subscribers. That, that, it's all your guys. It's, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's all because of you, you know, uh, that, that keep me going. So, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll, I'll talk to you guys next week, okay? Talk to you guys later. Bye.